Turn and tell somebody I'm on the rough side of the mountain, but the Lord's with me. Amen. Said, I'll never leave you. I'll be with you in a hard place. I'll be with you when you're hungry, and I'll be with you when you're fed. I will be with you when your enemies come against you. I'll be with you when they speak their word. And I hope somebody hears this. When man rises up and speaks his word, Jesus said, I'll rise up and speak my word. When man speaks against you, Jesus said, I'll speak for you. Which voice is the greatest? If somebody don't praise God, I'll preach. If you love him, raise your hands and praise God. He said that when they speak all manner of evil against you, when they yak, 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 talk, 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 when they speak all manner of evil against you, when they do that, he said, rejoice. Why, Lord? Because I'm going to start talking. When he starts talking, what man's got to say doesn't amount to anything. Folk, you're not hearing what I'm saying. When man talks, it's just another man. But when God talks, it's every voice that ever was created. When God speaks, it's every thunder. It's all the lightning. When God speaks, it's all the heavens. It, when God speaks, when God speaks, it's the earth. I wish somebody to hear this. When God speaks, it's the heavens. When God speaks, when he speaks for you, it's all the heavens. When God speaks for you, it's all the earth. When God speaks for you, it's all the planets. When God speaks for you, it's all the, it's all the, everything, stars. It's everything that ever has been, ever will be, because God spoke. God spoke, and there was the heavens. God spoke, and there was the earth. God spoke, and there were the rocks. God spoke, and there was the sea. When God speaks for you, it's all the rocks. It's all the waters. It's all the heavens. I mean, I'm not talking about just an utterance, but it's everything that was made by that voice stands behind it. What's the devil going to do with that? If you love him, raise your hands and praise God. God, Jesus said, rejoice when a little man speaks against you. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Rejoice because I'll start blessing you. They'll speak against you. They'll say, your little church is not going to go. They'll say that you're not going to make it. You'll come into the kingdom of God and somebody will say he won't make it. Someone will say they'll never make it. But the Lord says rejoice. You rejoice because I'm going to talk for you. He said don't listen to them. Listen to me. God said don't you dare listen to a man. But listen to me. God said I won't, I won't speak loudly like they do. I, won't, I will not utter because I uttered my voice and there, there was worlds without end. You, I, I'll speak and your natural won't hear it because if I did, it'd probably tear it to pieces. I'll just get talk to you with a still small voice because if I spoke, there'd be worlds without end. If I spoke with a loud voice, there would be the heavens. If I spoke with a loud voice, there'd be new planets. If I spoke with a loud voice, everything would be moved back. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll speak to you with a still, small voice. When you're weeping and crying, he said, I'll speak to you, and, and I'll tell you, don't fret, and don't be afraid, for lo, I am with you. I will never leave you. But he says, if they keep on, if they just keep on talking against you, if they just keep on, God said, I'll take my joy from them. I'll take my anointing from them. I'll remove it from them. I'll even take away the candlestick. I'll move out the light that they have, and then all they'll have is hatred. When I move out the light of love, then they won't forgive. 
Boy, I'm doing some good preaching now. Thank you, Jesus. When I move out my love, they'll hate more and talk against you more. But if I put in my love, they'll quit being against you. You can find out if a man or woman's of God or not by how much he loves not by how much he hates, not by how much he can tear down, but by how much he can lift up the brokenhearted. You can find out how much a man loves God, not because a brother or a sister, like some of our friends have in the last few years, stumbled, and many of them have gotten a pulpit, I mean Pentecostal pulpits, and they have rejoiced because God's mighty men, God's Samson's, I want you to hear that God Samson have stumbled and some little old preachers have got up and said I knew it's going to happen well God's not through I heard it a while ago hallelujah Samson said son help me son help me help me son will you put my hand on the pillar here that's holding up this building will you put my hand over here oh my enemies are up there they are higher than I am they're up there rejoicing because I'm down here in this hard place and folk are not looking to me anymore. Will you please help me, little boy? The little boy said, yes, sir. He said, put my hand on the biggest, on the great big old pillar that's holding up the temple. Don't put it on a little something here for decoration put my hand up on the big pillar that's holding up all of this hatred that's holding up all of this malice that's holding up all of this enmity that's holding up all of this jealousy that's holding up all of this backbiting put my hand on that pillar son put my hand there Hallelujah, I see something. He he shook himself to see if he had the power. I dare you, brethren, to shake yourself a little bit. Hallelujah, say, I think think I've still got the power. I think it's still with me because Jesus said, I won't leave you. You'll go through a hard place, but I'll stay with you. I'm looking, I'm looking for a great noise to come out of North Carolina soon. I'm looking Praise God for a sound to come out of Louisiana again. I'm looking for a sound. I feel healing. I feel healing. I feel the healing of God. God getting ready to move again for his ordained prophet. If somebody don't praise God, I'm going to shout for myself. Put my hand over there, son. I hear them upstairs. I hear them. I'm on the verge of tears. I mean, not only that, but just weeping, crying aloud. What about some that have almost shaken the nations? Shaken the nations with the abilities that God gave them. It had to come from God. No man can be saved through a person that's of the devil. The message had to come from God. And how, I wish somebody could feel how within a few weeks time, hatred, enmity, no love, no forgiveness. And see some of those with great big tears rolling down their cheeks. Please, please. I've gone against God, but please. And watch preachers laugh at them. But there's another voice going to laugh. I was coming through the Saluda Mountains a few years ago between North Carolina, Jerry, you know where it is, South Carolina, just above Greenville. I was driving a little Volkswagen. When I said, Lord, you said you'd laugh. You'd mock. You'd laugh, God, you'd laugh. And you'd mock. Let man laugh. Let man mock. 
but don't let God laugh at me. Say amen. Don't let God mock me when I cry. Let man do it. I was deep in prayer. I, I wept until my whole body was shaking. I said, you're going to laugh. You're going to mock calamity. Fear cometh. And I stopped my car and went over on one of those little hills, mountains, that big high mountain, but I found me one. Left my car up on the highway. I said, please, God, let me know what you meant. And I crossed my heart in death. You can call it an aberration of my mind. You can call it anything you want to, but I got an answer to prayer. It was God. And the clouds begin to lower around me, darkness all over me. And I heard voices. I heard voices, hundreds of voices. Have mercy on me, God. Please move for me again, God. And folk, again, I have to cross my heart. If you were telling this, I'd have a hard time believing it. But in those Saluda mountains, and I go through there with fear every time now. There I was, the clouds were there, the thunder, nature began to get upset. God is getting close. Lightning began to flash. The wind began to blow. I said, Lord, somehow or other show me. Not knowing he was showing me in, the na in nature. And I heard folk, hundreds and hundreds crying, have mercy, Lord, please have mercy. Lord, please, Lord, forgive me. There's a time of forgiveness. There's a time you'll cross the dead line never to be forgiven. There's no doubt in my mind there's some of you sitting here that you've got your toe on that dead line. No doubt in my mind. I was in prayer. I got up here this morning. I was walking around over this place. Brother two walked with me a little bit and then I walked alone. I spent till daylight in prayer this morning, this morning. And the Lord let me know there's going to be 17 of you that does not turn to God tonight. You walk out these doors and God will laugh. God will mock. He'll laugh at you. He'll laugh and you don't know what louder is till you hear his voice. I said, show me, Lord, why would you laugh and why would you mock? Why and how would it be? And I heard them begin to cry. And he said, this is the way it is. They'll follow me a while. They'll turn against me and be turned over to a reprobate mind. Then after a while, they'll try to turn. But he said, that's when I'll laugh. And this astounded me. It took me days, Don knows it. It took me days to get out of it. I mean, I liked it. My mind, natural mind, liked to snap. After I heard that, I mean, I heard them crying. And then I heard the awful voice of God. There's no way. But I heard that voice of God. <laughs> Brother Hall, I can't believe that. Tear it out of the Bible. Tear it out of the Bible. I'd rather melt here tonight is to have God laugh at me. Now I heard them cry and have mercy, and God mocked them. He said, have mercy, have mercy. I heard it. It's not a figment of my mind. I heard it coming into my ears. Have mercy, have mercy. And he laughed. Have mercy. Ha, ha, ha. I'll laugh. I'll mock. I'll laugh. Yeah, there's one thing. 
there's a great thing that's lacking in the church. And that's holy, holy, holy. What if one person, and he's already letting me know, that 17 of you will go into hell. But what if one person that you knew walked out of here and is going to burn and going to burn and be cast into hell and burn forever and ever where their worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. If I did what I want to do right now, I'd fall on my face. Mercy, God. Mercy, mercy, God. Mercy, God. Mercy, mercy, Brother Engel. Come here. Thus saith the Lord, my hand will be upon thee even greater. When thee shall stretch forth your hand, I will replace it with my hand momentarily. The blind will see even at the raised voice. When you just raise your voice and speak my name in foreign fields, when you just speak my name, saith the Lord, I will save people from the spoken word that's coming out of your mouth because I'm going to do a work that was not done in the days of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm going to do a work that was not done even in the days of Peter, James, and John. I'm going to do a work that was not done even in the days of Martin Luther and John Wesley. I'm going to do a work. I'm going to do a finishing work. And I, the Lord thy God, I'm going to envelop this world with another great revival. And I will move in communities that have never heard my name. And there will be those that will rise up and call me by my name that's never heard no any man ever speak my name because I will save those that I have chosen from the foundation. And in this day, all that calls on my name shall be saved. Yea, I would speak unto thee and all of the others whom I have ordained to touch the world. Touch the world, my son. Touch the world. I will not only bless thy feet as you go, but I'll bless the footprints that you leave. I will give such an anointing on you, my servants, even my pastors and my evangelists. When you go into a city, I will bless you as you go in, and I will make your feet beautiful, and I will bless them, and I will save. Yea, try me and see if I speak not, saith the Lord. I will give you more souls. I will give you more souls. I make a covenant with you tonight. If you'll make a covenant with me, I'll give you more souls than you've ever won. I'll yes, Handy Bahoya. Look at your revivals and look how I've moved for you. But now go as you've never gone, and I'll give you seven times the number that you've ever won. I'll open up the windows of heaven and I'll send you angels to stand with you and the spirits of my prophets, and you will be astounded at the words that will come out of you because I don't only just give a mantle, even as Elijah did, but I give you my own voice. Higher, 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 even at this moment, even at this moment, I am touching, I am moving on 144 men and women that I have been with and many of you have had hard times in your revivals and you've removed your tent because the people would not come to here and you have even closed little church doors but no more will you ch close them because I'm going to set before you an open door 
and I'm going to bring talents out of you and gifts out of you and bring them to four that you did not even know that you have. I am here this night, saith the Lord. I have chosen this night just for you. I have chosen you just for this night. I have chosen you that are here just for this night. I have chosen you for this night and you have chosen me because you're here. I meet you here this night. I take away the powers of suicide. I will remove it from everyone that's here. I will remove it, I say unto thee, because my men and my women, even my children, have found favor in my sight. And because of their prayers and groanings, you'll be set free from drugs and you'll be set free from alcohol without even going to a clinic or going through a withdrawal because my spirit is withdrawing demons and pulling them out of you. Pulling, taking them right out of you. And my, and my angels are binding those demons that have had you bound in hell and those demons will have to wait for Lucifer then he's going to be bound I'm afraid folk I, I am afraid I don't mind to tell you I am a mama mata high who see kiako bahaya let rubber bahoshi men to the eye it he caught to it all grows dim I know I know I mean I tell you the truth I could not tell anyone who anyone here is now no way because I mean just for a moment there it was all darkness but now the light is so bright thank God until I can't see no man save Jesus Christ and him crucified the lights coming in here to drive sickness and cancer and demons out of you these powers are going from you they're not going up they're going down I see those demons coming down to your feet and God is going to let you put your feet on them oh God speak man of God for thus saith the spirit of the Lord I will restore unto you the years that the locust the canker worm the caterpillar and the palmer worm have robbed you of for my people shall not be ashamed, saith the Lord. I say unto you, my people shall not be ashamed. I'll bridge your service. I'll put your life back together, saith the Lord. For I am the Lord thy God. I love you. I love you with an unfeigned, unpretended love, saith the Lord. I'm putting you back together for my service. You shall do the exploit. For I've ordained it. It's already left my mouth, saith the Lord. I go with you as you stretch forth your hand. I'm with you, saith the Lord, to work my works through you. I have spoken. You're going to bring it to pass by my anointing, saith the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I have somebody to take. If you don't speak out, the devil will have some false prophet to speak out. This is the night of my visitation, saith the Lord. And this is the night of my choosing to reveal my glory to this last day generation. For I have prepared you in the days that have gone by that this time would arrive. And I have encouraged you and told you to shake yourself free. And I have told you that you were my sons and my daughters. And I have told you that I would never leave you and I would never forsake you. And I have told you that I would go with you through every trouble, through every storm, and through every trial. But I tell you this night, saith God, this is the night for you to come up a little bit higher. You may, we will have my spirit revealed from the depth within you. You have called for me. You have searched for me. You have sought for me, saith God. You have traveled from the north and from the south and from the east and from the west. You have come from on a far journey from around this world, but you have not come to hear the voice of a man and you have not come to hear the voice of a woman. You have come to this camp meeting knowing that when you arrived upon on this property I would meet you here and I would bring my visitation I tell you this night I have come and I have come to set you free and I have come to deliver you and I have come to breathe upon you and set you on fire and I have come to charge you and I have come to ordain you and I have come to raise you up and I tell you this night you stand in my presence like you have never 
never stood before. And from this night, you will never be the same again. You are being chained by my glory. You are being chained by my word. My voice is penetrating the very innermost part of your being. And it is snatching out every fear and every insecurity and every lack of confidence. And you are going to walk as a son of God. And you are going to talk as a son of God. And you are going to heal as a son of God. And you are going to deliver as a son of God. For my spirit has come to be inundated within you, saith the Lord. You have heard it said that the wicked one comes to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I would say unto you that this night I come as well to steal and to kill and to destroy because I come as a thief and I will steal from the wicked one. I will remove from his grip the very ones that he thought he had control over forevermore. I come as a thief this night. I come to destroy the works of the devil. Again I say I come to destroy the works of the devil. Again I say I come to destroy the works of the devil. The wicked one came to destroy you mentally. The wicked one came to destroy you emotionally. The wicked one came to destroy you spiritually. The wicked one has come to destroy some of you physically. But this night I come to destroy the works of the devil. I will destroy his destructiveness against you says the Lord of hosts. For yea, my children, this night have I opened a door of utterance unto each of thee. For yea, even as thou dost walk forward through this door, thou shalt go forth from this place, and thou shalt speak, and it shall no longer be thee speaking, but the Spirit of your Father speaking out of you. Yea, if thou wilt but enter in my door, if thou wilt but walk with me, if thou wilt but draw nigh unto me, for yea, days without number, thou hast called upon my name, thou hast sought my face, thou hast cried out to me, O oh God, move in my my life. Even this night I have heard thee as thou did cry unto me one more time. And even now do I speak unto thee that one more time do I stir thy soul. One more time do I anoint thee. One more time have I put my spirit deep within thee that thou might cry aloud and spare not and lift up thy voice like a trumpet. For yea, the time of thy visitation is upon thee. For yea, did not my people of old lose the day of their visitation? But I speak unto thee, thou shalt not miss the time of thy visitation. For I have sent my prophets unto thee, arising early and crying aloud and sparing not to warn thee that surely I come quickly and my reward is with me. My little ones, that that I have given thee, thou must work quickly. For surely I come quickly. Take the anointing, the sword, the shield that I have placed within thee and cast thy sickle into my vineyard and reap my children. Reap, reap the islands of the sea. Reap the nations of the world. Everywhere that I send thee, thrust in thy sickle and reap. Reap my little ones for the harvest is great. Reap my little ones for the fields are wide. Reap my little ones. Let thine inhibition die. Let thy fears fall away. For yea, I have ordained thee to reap. Yea, my little ones, do you not know that if Paul was to stand in thy day, he would rejoice for that that I would use him in. If Peter was here, he would rejoice for that that I would use him in. If the prophets of old were to rise up 
they would rejoice for that that I had given them. Yea, my little ones this night, rejoice, 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 rejoice and be exceedingly glad for this is your day, this is your hour, this is your time, this is your destiny. You were born for this time. You were born for this hour. You were born for this day. You were born not to be bound, but to be free. You weren't born to back up, but you were born to stand and proclaim liberty to the captive, to bind up the brokenhearted, to open the prison door to them that are bound. For yea, even in the days ahead, that